Okay, set up computer server using uh, Windows 2008 R2 and Windows 2007 Pro. Continuation of our installing and configuring Windows 2008 as well as Windows 7. Okay, then after the restart for assigning the domain name, then open again the computer or the server, control alt delete, and then the password. You can see in applying a domain name and configuring, you can see meron na tayong additional dun sa ating log or sa ating account. You can see Carlo slash administrator. The Carlo is our domain name. And then, our computer is the administrator. Clear? And then, type na natin password to open. CSS underscore 2016. And then, after you open your computer, indication na may lalabas dyan na tinatawag na server manager. If not, just click server manager. Server manager. And then, check ulit natin yung ating computer information. Our server information o computer information is that full computer name is servers dash one. Ito yung computer name na nilagay natin previously. Yung change natin. And then our new domain is carlo.local. Our domain is carlo.local. The IP address of our computer is 192.168.0.2. Okay? And then, after new check, Proceed na ulit tayo for additional roles. Just click roles. Tapos na tayo sa Active Directory Domain Service and then DNS Server. Okay? And then click Add Roles again. And this time, ang i-add naman natin, or just click Next. And then i-add naman natin is the, the DHCP Server. The DHCP Server is the called Dynamic Host Control Protocol Ang server ay mag assign ng IP address automatically dun sa ating mga client like Windows 7. Then click next. Next. And then the IP address of our computer. Verify. Check. Or next. And then you can see meron tayo dito nakalagay na prepare DNS server o IP version 4 address. You can see nakalagay dito is 192.7.0.0.1. Ito change natin to at ilalagay natin yung IP address ng ating server. 192.168.0.2 Okay, pag okay na, then click valid. Indication, kaya natin siya chinek para ang ating server ay siya yung magiging uh, domain name uh, server ng ating client. Then click next. And then next lang. And then click add. Okay, sa add scope, maglalagay tayo ng limitation or uh, starting IP to the ending IP of our computer or client. Usually, ang nilalagay natin sa scope name, any name you want ay pwedeng ilagay sa scope name. But, lagay natin is primary scope. Okay? Primary scope. And then, the starting IP is 192.168.0.20 Okay? Okay, bakit 192.168.20? Para dun siya mag start yung IP address. You can see, pwede kasi mag-assign ka ng different IP address. Kapag nag-start ka ng 2, automatically, pwede ka maglagay ng server ng 2, 3, 4, hanggang 10. Pero lahat ng client ay mag start from 20 to 255 or 254. Okay? 
Check natin. And then, the ending IP is 192.168.0.254. Okay? And then, the default gateway is 192.168.0.1. Okay? The default gateway is our router or our internet. If you do not assign a default gateway in our uh, server, walang ibaba tong internet dun sa iba pang computer na nakakonek sa server. Kaya, make sure na alam nyo ang inyong default gateway or check the router or check the back of our router for the IP address. Then, kapag okay na, check natin. 192.168.0.20 is the starting. 192.168.0.254 is the ending. And then, ang gamit nating subnet type is wired. And then, ating default gateway is 192.168.0.1 then click OK to apply okay, ito na yung ating ginawang primary scope then click next and this time, i-disable natin yung DHCP version 6 okay then click next next and then, to double check Bago nyo install check nyo muna kung tama. The DNS prefer, uh, parent domain is carlo.local. The IP ng DNS server is 192.168.0.1. And then, yung ating scope is from 192.168.0 ang ating domain o default gateway. At ating ating range ay 20 to 254. Then, click install. It takes time to install. And then, Okay, then after the reboot, uh, after the loading, you can see installation succeed with errors. Indication, kaya may errors kasi hindi pa natin nakakonfigure ng maayos yung DHCP. But later on, magiging uh, okay na siya. Then click close. And then, na-install na natin yung tatlong part. And then, ang susunod natin gagawin is add a role again. And then click next. And then, ang ating install naman is the file service and then as well as the print and document service. In case na maglagay kayo ng printer sa network ay automatically ready for installation agad yung printer. And then after nyan, click next, next, and then next until, next, and then install. Okay, then, print and document service and file service is installation succeed. Kapag nakita nyo na yan, just click close. And then, tapos na lahat ng dapat ng install. This time, magko-configure na tayo ng tinatawag na client account. To configure a client account, close natin yan. And then, go to start button, administrative tools, and then click Active Directory Users and Computers Okay, pagka nakakita tayo ng ganyan Click natin yung ating domain This is the domain Carlo.local uh, Carlo.local Then click natin yung star uh, Yung ating Buttons And then click The computer Sa computer makikita nyo Kapag may nakakunek na na client Sa inyong server Dito nyo siya makikita but this time, there is are no item to show kasi wala pa tayong computer na nakakonect sa server. And then, our domain controller is server uh, 1 o computer. Ito yung ating magiging uh, domain. And then, the user. Okay, first, to create a user or client, this time, kakapi lang natin yung administrator. The administrator user is the most powerful user sa ating server. Okay? Right click and then copy And then, gagawa tayo ngayon ng ating panibagong user account Okay, pag sinabing user account, siya yung ilalagi natin sa susunod na computer na nakakonect sa server Okay, lalagyan natin name is client Or, pwedeng hindi client, gawin natin siyang host Host 1 Or, pwede rin namang PC 1 Okay and then, gagamitin natin is PC1. 
And then, type natin sa ating user login name. Ito yung, ito yung itatype natin sa uh, login para makapag-access tayo, ma-open natin yung computer. PC1. Then, click next. And then, mag a tayo ng password sa client. Usually, para hindi tayo malito, ang password pa rin natin ay CSS underscore 2016. Then, another. C CSS underscore 2016. Then, click next. Then, finish. You can see, meron na tayong PC1. Ito siya. Then, this time, gagawa naman tayo ng tinatawag na organizational unit. Organizational unit is a group of computer na naka-assign in different functions. Okay? Pwede ka mag-create like IT department, accounting department, or different accounts. But this time, ang gagawin natin is the folder or the group or the organizational unit name redirection. Okay? Right click. And then, new. And then, organizational unit. Then, type natin. Ang password ay redirection. Redirection. Yeah. Okay? Kapag ka-chinect nyo, you protect container from accidental deletion, hindi siya agad madidelete. But, kapag na-uncheck siya, pwede niyo siyang i-delete on the spot. To make sure na hindi gagawin siya madidelete, check natin. And then later on, ituturo natin kung paano siya i-delete. Then click OK. Okay, then meron na tayong group. Proceed ulit tayo sa user. And then hanapin natin yung ginawa natin account. PC, click and drag to the redirection folder. Okay? Or, pwede rin naman kayong gumawa ng account sa mismong folder niya redirection. Like, click nyo lang yung uh, right click, then user... And then, gawa tayo ng another, like PC2. And then, PC2. And then, click next. And then, the password, CSS underscore 2016. And then, another, CSS underscore 2016. And then, click next. And then, finish. You can see? Dalawa nating account. PC1 is a copy of administrator. And then, PC2 is a ordinary account or user. Okay, pagka nakagawa na tayo niyan, proceed na ngayon tayo sa tinatawag na folder redirection. Okay, sa folder redirection o sa pag-create ng ating shared uh, folder papunta sa client, first thing first, right click and then create new folder. And then right click again and then rename. You can see ang lalagyan natin is server server uh, folder. Okay? And then, yun yung isha-share natin sa lahat. Then, right-click properties. Or, pwede nyo rin namang ilagay dyan ay mismong folder redirection yung name. Ilagay natin, change natin to redirection. Yan. And then, right-click properties. Okay? Start na tayo ng sharing. Click sharing and then advanced sharing. Share this folder and then permission. Sa permission, ang i-click lang natin ay everyone para lahat na nakakonect sa ating server ay makaka-receive ng redirection folder. Just click full control for read and write or pwede mo siyang i-change, pwede mo siyang burahin. Apply and okay. And then apply and okay. And then security click edit and then click add and then type everyone okay and then sa everyone click natin yung full control and then apply and okay then close automatically meron na tayong folder na naka-shared and then second is that maglalagay na ngayon tayo ng group policy to uh, to configure a group policy just click in start button administrative tools and then click Group Policy Management Sa Group Policy Management Dito nyo i-change yung rules and regulations Na pwede nyo ilagay sa server Okay the Click the forest or our domain Click domain yeah. And then click domain controller ah, By the way, ito na yung domain controller And then you can see meron tayo ditong folder na redirection 
Yung folder na redirection na makikita nyo sa group policy, eh, ito yung folder na kinereate nyo sa desktop. Click nyo lang yung, yung pinaka-arrow, and then click or right-click, and then create a GPO in the this domain and link in here. And then, change natin, redirection. And then, click OK. And then, this time, i-edit natin yung kanyang policies. Just right-click, and then click edit. And then, click policy again, windows. And then, find the folder redirection. Uh, by the way, let's proceed tayo sa user configuration, policies, windows, and then folder redirection. Yeah. Pag nakita nyo yung folder redirection, ito yung mga types na pwede nyo i-share sa client. Like desktop, start menu, going to save games. This time, ang i-share lang natin is the desktop. Then click natin desktop, then, then click properties, and then setting, basic. And then, root path. The root path is the location of the folder na isi-share nyo sa client. Okay, this is the folder na isi-share natin. To copy the root path, just right-click, properties, and then sharing, and then copy the destination of the network path. Or, you can type. Then, again, properties, and then, paste natin sa root path ng ating shared uh, folder. Then, click apply. Yes. And then, okay. Then, automatically, meron na tayo ngayon tinatawag na shared folder. Okay? And then, this time, proceed tayo sa tinatawag na peer-to-peer -peer of our client and seven.